93 and I'm here with my girlfriend Heidi. Yay! And we're gonna be playing some more Pokemon the Training Card Game online today. Uh, this is one of my more favorite decks. I built it recently. It's been super fun. And uh, someone requested that I do a little bit more in-depth analysis of what a deck looks like, how it works before I actually start using it. So I kind of briefly did that last time because Flyron's a little complicated. And you know this is a kind of weird deck too. So you know we'll go over every card in this deck, why I chose it, and then we'll play a game. So this is a Weavile deck. Um, we're playing expanded, so Weavile is okay. But uh, we'll get we'll get to one of the items that has been rotated out of format and why why we're using this deck in expanded. So we're going to use Weavile for this Vilify attack, the second one for one darkness and one colorless energy, doing thirty damage. 30 damage times the number of Pokemon you discard out of your hand. Now normally that's pretty bad, because, I mean, what, you can Sycamore have 7 cards in your hand? I mean, you'd have to play a lot of Pokemon to be able to get that going, and you wouldn't have the energy acceleration. So we're going to use this guy. Execute is one of my favorite cards. Propagation. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your discard pile, you may put it into your hand. Now, people have issues with this ruling, saying that, you know, you can only propagate once per turn, but the official ruling says you may propagate whenever it is in the discard. Which means, if you have, say, an Ultra Ball where you have to discard two cards, and you have two of these guys in your discard, you may Ultra Ball for no cost, just by propagating the eggs out and then discarding them back in. Um, how do, like, most players feel about that card? Do they like it? Do they not like it? Most players don't have issues. It's the newer players who don't understand how the card works. Oh, okay. So, you, you may propagate whenever you want. <laughs> so, now you can see the synergy here with Vilify and Propagation. Without discarding anything else out of your hand, you're doing 120 damage. Now that's really strong for 2 energy on something that's really easy to set up. So, we're going to get into the other interesting selection. This is Lopany. This is not a card you see in competitive play. Uh, this deck, the Lopony Weavile Execute, did actually make it through the last chance qualifier this year. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's not something you see too often. It has the ability Big Jump. Once during your turn, you may return this card and every card attached to it to your hand. So, you're going to set up a Baneri, evolve into Lopony, and then, if you have to, say, hit a big EX for 180 damage rather than 120, like the 4 Execute, you're going to big jump back to your hand and then discard those two cards for extra damage. Wow. Lopany also allows you to have something to sit out in the active slot, take a hit, jump back to your hand, and then all that damage just goes away. So you can see the synergy there. We have Jirachi. Um, has 90 HP, which is really nice because we're going to play 4 level ball. Uh, some of these lists even run 2 Jirachi just because it's so important to have a supporter in this deck. Uh, it's pretty aggressive, you run through your deck pretty quickly. Um, but I don't have another Jirachi, and I really only like one. And one of the reasons we're going to play this really aggressively is because of this card, Battle Compressor. You basically just get to discard all your Execute immediately. What are you going to say? Oh, I was just wondering why you only want one. Most decks, if they run a Jirachi, it's just a nice one of tech. So that, you know, you just put it down on your bench, you get a supporter, you keep going in the game, and it doesn't really affect you too much. And this deck, because you're discarding so many cards out of your hand, you kind of want to be able to search on another one. But I, I think one is better. You, you can play two. I mean, it's your choice. You can test it. We're going to use this Battle Compressor. This has two purposes in this deck. One, to obviously get rid of the Execute, because you want those in the discard immediately. Two... Because we're playing Expanded, we have Energy Acceleration, Dark Patch. Attach a basic Darkness Energy from your discard to one of your bench Dark Pokemon. So we're going to run 8 Darkness Energy. You don't need to blow that up because you know what that is. And, you know, you can use this Battle Compressor, put get your Execute in the discard, get a couple Darkness, and then Dark Patch onto your Weavile, which allows this deck to work. You really need that Acceleration. This is why we don't play this in Standard. I kind of tried working on this, but I just really couldn't make it work. So, you play a Super Rod because, you know, when you're discarding a bunch of Darkness Energy, sometimes you need them back in the deck to draw into them. Two, Sterling Megaphone. Some lists suggest three. 
I don't know. Megaphone's kind of a dead draw if your opponent's not playing Garbodor, but at the same time, Garbodor shuts this deck down, so you really need it. I don't know. I, I go back and forth on whether two or three is the right call. Play a bunch of Ultra Ball. Four of them, because Searching is really powerful. We play four Level Ball, which has no discard cost, but with this many Execute in the deck, there's really no reason not to play four Ultra Ball. Sorry about that. Our A spec. Normally you play... What's an A spec? A specs are cards that are so powerful you only have one copy in your deck. Okay. So Verizian Genesec plays G Booster. It's the strongest card for that deck. Most decks will that play... That sucks. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. It's fun. It just beats me all the time. That's why. Yeah. Most decks play very consistent A specs. Dowsing Machine or Computer Search are the most common ones. This one's not so common. Put one of your Pokemon all cards attached to it in your hand. Uh, this is nice with Jirachi. If you use Jirachi to, say, get a Lysander when you need it, later in the game, you can take the Scoop Up Cyclone, scoop up that Jirachi, play it again for another supporter. This also lets you take off Weavile if it gets stuck in the active and you don't have your any way to switch. Uh, that does happen. You see we're not playing any switching cards at all. And sometimes you just don't have the ability to manually retreat it. This might be a funny question, but what, like, why do you call it a supporter? So, we're, we're getting to supporters, but supporters are really strong trainer cards. You might only play one of per turn. But you said Jirachi was a supporter? No, no, no. Jirachi has stellar guidance, which lets you put it on the bench, oh. search your deck for one supporter. Okay. Yeah. I get it now. Um, VS Seeker, one of the new cards, generally the only addition to this deck other than Battle Compressor with the new set. This is really a two of in almost every single deck nowadays. Put a supporter from your discard in your hand. I mean, it's really important with this deck to always have a supporter pretty much every single turn. So we play Jirachi, we play Scoop of Psycho, and we play VS Seeker. Um, as for the supporter lineup, it's kind of straightforward. I mean, four Sycamore is pretty standard in every deck. You just need that draw power. Discard your hand, draw seven. Draw power is super important in this deck. We play one Colrus. Um, normally you're going to bench a lot of stuff, and if your opponent does as well, you can hit Colruses for seven or eight pretty consistently without wasting resources. Uh, one Lysander, that's not draw support. Some decks have been playing more. You know, with the Rise of Dawnfan, things that hit on the bench, Rise of Gengar EX, things that hit on the bench and retreat. Um, it's really important to be able to just call them out and kill them before they can do anything to you. But we do play 2VS Seeker and the Lysander, so as long as it goes in the discard, or we use it, we can theoretically use it three times in a game. Um, and we play 2M. Now, most decks play 4, and practically every deck I've ever played other than Speed Lugia, which we'll do another episode on later, plays 4, but this deck's really aggressive. You kind of just want to hit your opponent for 180 damage on like the second turn take big knockouts kill those EXs really quickly so if you're shuffling your hand in after you go down to two prizes and your opponent's still at six you're really just helping your opponent and screwing yourself over so we're only going to play two of these guys because it only really helps us in the beginning of the game after that's the dead draw and the last card silver mangle uh, 30 more damage. Muscle Band does the same thing except 20 more damage. It's just a really nice tool to increase your damage output. But the way Weavile works is you want to, if you're hitting things in multiples of 30, you want to have that Silver Bangle to hit that magic 180 number rather than hitting 170 with the Muscle Band because then you're not killing things like Lucario EX, Landers EX. Those sorts of things. You just need that little extra 10 damage, and we don't have room for Hypnotoxic Laser. So that's what this deck looks like. And we are going to get into a match on the Expanded Ladder here. Hopefully it won't take too long to get a game going, because, you know, people aren't always the most fond of the Expanded Ladder. The Standard Ladder is much larger, but it looks like we're hopping into a game right away. Playing Robson182, who has the advantage, so... We'll see what he's actually playing. I don't actually know how they determined advantages, but... Oh yeah, I was about to ask you, how do you know he has the advantage? It just says, I really don't understand how they determine that, but 
my opponent gets to decide who goes first. I assume that means we're going second, and oh no. We're starting Lone Execute. This is the worst thing that can happen. And he's starting Lone Mr. Mime. Okay, so we're both off to terrible starts. Uh, my opponent plays Tropical Beach, which we're definitely going to be using this turn. I know what that is. Yep. Uh, this is a card that is only in... Wow. Okay. Tropical Beach is a card that is only in the expanded format. It's very expensive. I'm very glad they rotated out. And if you guys didn't know what just happened right there, my opponent just played a Culvers, which you shuffle your hand in your deck and draw a number equal to the number of benched Pokemon. So he just Culvers for zero, so he could use Tropical Beach and draw seven. So that's actually a really cool move. So right now we're going to play Battle Compressor. Hopefully we didn't discard or we didn't prize any of our execute, otherwise it's going to be a really tough game. There's one, there's two, there's the last one in the deck. Yep, okay, we're good. So that battle compressor paid off really well. First turn, we have one execute in play and the rest of the discard. That's what we want to see. And we're in a level ball for a Sneasel. <laughs> Sneasel. Yep. So that's kind of funny. Uh, you notice I have two different artworks because I was too lazy to trade for the other one. Uh, Use the one that has 70 HP if you have the choice. I, I have two with 60 HP because I don't care enough to trade for them. But we're going to discard... I think we're going to go two energies and another battle compressor so we don't dead draw it. Just so if we don't draw into dark patch, I can uh, accelerate that energy. So I'm not seeing another battle compressor, which means we prized one. That's okay. You don't have to discard three with... Um, Battle Compressor, you can do as many as you want. And then we're going to play Tropical Beach, because I can't attack, and that's really going to help us. So. Oh, so Stadium applies to both of you? Yes, yeah, so Stadium applies to both players. Okay. So, you see we got an energy, and there's Pokemon Communication, that's one of my favorite cards. Uh, looks like my opponent's playing some sort of Empoleon deck, and he's going to end me. So we're going down to six, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, Pokemon Communication is a card that you do not see in the standard format. Let's see if I'm going to blow it up. Maybe not. Okay. Sometimes this game glitches and won't let you. Basically, you can switch any Pokemon in your hand for something else. So, uh, if he doesn't want that print plot, he can just go and take whatever he wants. Uh, yep, so he just switched a print plot for a print plot, and then he's going to Tropical Beach. <laughs> and, yeah. Did you see so. pin plot for a print plot? Print plot for a pit plot. Pit plot. Yep, so there's the dark patch. That's why I discarded those energies. Um, I don't have a second... I'm gonna play the... Yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, I don't have a second Sneasel out to use a second Dark Patch, so... Now I have a tough decision. So, there's no point Dark Patching to this one because he doesn't need three energy to attack. I can Sycamore and get rid of a Weavile and a Lopany, but I think instead I'm just gonna play Tropical Beach. Uh, that gives me a different supporter that won't waste all my resources in hand. Um, Why don't you put all your Pokemon on your bench? I can't. So, Lopany uh -huh. oh, is stage, stage one, one, and Weavile is a stage one. Right. So, I can't even play them. But it looks <laughs> like my opponent's going to get a... Okay. So, we got the Rare Candy Empoleon, but he did not get the Rare Candy Dusknoir, so that's nice. And Team Discard that Startling Megaphone for the Diving Draw ability... Uh, Empoleon's very strong. Once per turn, you may discard a card and draw two cards. And this deck does not really require very much energy at all, and you can see how fast it is. He's going to level ball for a Primplup. Uh, evolve that so we can get a second Empoleon in play as well. He has the Mill Tank out, which for one energy can hit for <laughs> 80 damage, and he's going to Tropical Beach again instead of attack me. So Milk Tank? Mill Tank. Mill Tank. It has udders. Yes. So I think right here we're going to play N. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, getting rid of... Oh, I almost forgot. This is why Propagation is really cool. Because we can Propagate and then Ultra Ball them away. I almost forgot about that. I got that first turn Battle Compressor. So we have a couple options of what we can take. I think I'm just going to want a Sneasel and... I only see one. 
So this is like a worst case scenario where we have prized 50% of the Sneasel in our deck. That happens to me all the time. No, but we can't do anything if we can't get them out. So this is going to be a really interesting match. I did get the second Weavile. I did get the Super Rod. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I might Ultra Ball and then play Tropical Beach again. I can get rid of the Dark Patch because I don't have any more Darkness Energy in the discard. And probably... Probably the Super Rod at this point. I'll get rid of the Megaphone just because I... I only have 90 HP, so he's going to one-shot me with his... Uh, I forgot what that attack is called. He's going to one-shot me with attack command anyways. So we are just going to Tropical Beach. No reason not to fill up my hand. You can see I can evolve the Weavile and the Lopini next turn. Hopefully I can get Execute out of the active position. Otherwise, see, he can set up pretty easily while I'm unable to retreat. And there's another Pokemon communication. And he has his own Execute. So... Uh, these are really the only two decks I can think of that use Execute really well. This deck just plays one, so you can Diving Draw, get rid of it, Propagate it, Diving Draw again. And that is what you're seeing your opponent, my opponent doing right now. So he's going to use one Execute to draw four cards, and he's going to Escape Rope. So, tough decisions. I think because he's going to kill whatever I promote, we're just going to sacrifice this Baneri right here. Uh, Mill Tank, for one energy, is going to be able to knock out anything I have, assuming he has the Muscle Band, and he's going to Colrus for a lot of cards right here, so I would not doubt it. Yeah, so he can't actually one-shot my Weavile, which is nice, but now I have an Execute on the bench, which is not pretty. Really don't know what to do about that. Um, okay. <sighs> Got some tough decisions here. So, my opponent's not playing EXs, so we're not going to be able to win the prize exchange by knocking two things out that he has for every one thing we have. I can kill the Dusknoir, or I can kill either Empoleon. And I think, for the heck of it, we're going to Lysander up this Dusknoir, and we're just going to knock it out. <laughs> I think the play here is to take out his ability to move around my damage, because that's what Dusknoir does. Mm -hmm. Let him kill my Weavile, and then try to sacrifice the Execute to get in the discard, because I'm going to need a super scoop up to get it. So we're going to... And you're hoping that you prize your sneeze things. No. Oh, yeah, get them out of the prizes, because I need more sneeze on play. So we're going to use more abilities and then just propagate these guys out. Um, I don't even know how many we're going to need, because Dustnor is weak to dark, so we're going to be hitting, we're going to have to hit him for 130 divided by 2, which is the same thing as 70, so I'm going to need 30, 60, 90. So I, I will need all three of those, which is fine. Don't have to discard anything extra out of my hand. We're just going to Vilify for just enough damage. 180. Hitting it for weakness does a lot of damage. And we're going to pick one prize. Let's see what it is. Uh, level ball. That's not what I wanted. That's okay. Uh, Good job. Assume, there goes another Dusk Um We're still not in a great position. Assuming he can get a Muscle Band, which he's going to Skyla for right now, he will kill me. And as long as he's able to Skyla for Muscle Bands, he will knock out my Weavile's in one shot with these little mill tanks. And I cannot win the prize exchange right here. Why is the mill tank so strong? Because it does uh, 10 plus 70 if you have a stage 2, which Empoleon is a stage 2, and the Dusknor that I just knocked out is a stage 2 as well. Oh. So He's going to... Propagate again, so he can driving draw, diving draw twice, and you can see how thin his deck is. My opponent's down to twelve cards already, or twenty-three, and there's the knockout. And we're gonna knock out this Empoleon as well. I don't know how this match is gonna go. I might have to end my opponent. See, 
Ending an Empoleon deck isn't always in your favor because he has the ability to diving draw and just fill up his hand again. So I don't particularly know what the right play here is. I have the VS Seeker so I can use the Colrus in my hand, the Sycamore in my hand, or any supporter in the discard. I might Colrus for 7? Yeah, I guess we're going with that. Can you explain the Diving Draw again? Yeah. So, Diving Draw, once per turn, you may discard one card and draw two. Oh. So he uses Execute to just draw four cards every turn. For free. Um, there's a Scoop Up Cyclone. That's what I wanted to see. So that Execute's coming back. Uh, we hit a Level Ball. I can take the Jirachi, but I think I'd rather just have another Buneary out so we can do some big jumps. Um... Yeah, I, I think I prized too many Sneasel for this game to ever work out. The way I see this working out is we kill this mill tank, we get the Sneasel, we stall for time with Lopany, and maybe I make a comeback. So you can see how many options we have technically, but we're just going to propagate. Um, technically, if I had the muscle band, this would be like easier because I could kill the mill tank without having four in the discard, but. Silver Mangle's way more important. It's really not that hard to get four in the discard. See, even if I started Lone Execute, I was still able to get rid of it without killing it. So we're going to hit for 120 and knock him out. And I think if this isn't a Sneasel, we just forfeit the game. And that's not what I wanted. So... The way this is going to work out, my opponent is just going to easily knock out this Weavile with Diving Draw. <clears throat> and for some reason he keeps drawing more cards so maybe we can stall and hope he decks out why not I, never give up <laughs> i really don't see any better play at this point because i can't use another weavile and it looks like he's just going after the diving draw unless he ends himself down to four he's gonna run out pretty quickly he's down to seven cards he has to draw one for the turn so, unless he keeps using Diving Draw, I'm going to have to stall him out for seven more turns, and I really don't think that's going to work. Even though technically we are on the prize, we're tied for prizes, using a Super Rod, three things back in, probably a Dust Nor line, and then there's a Water Energy. Um, level Ball for that Dust Clops, I assume. Um, I mean, he could get a third Empoleon in play if he wants. But once this Dust Nord goes up, he's just going to be able to move around damage and knock everything out I have in one shot. And there's 90 damage for the knockout, so... This this is where this gets a little more complicated. Um, we have Lopany. That's something. Um, so you saw my opponent just use Attack Command for 90. It does 10 damage times the number of Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponent's. So by getting rid of one of my things, he's now hitting me for 80, which means Lopany will actually survive the hit in, if he doesn't have another um, Muscle Band in his deck. So he has 9 cards, and I think we're just going to Tropical Beach. I don't see anything else we can do. There's no point in trying to attack with Lopany. It has sit down bounce. 80 damage with a 50% chance of not being able to hit the next turn. That's really terrible. Like, that's so bad. Uh, but my opponent's going to rare candy and pull on. What's rare candy? Oh, uh, no. Rare candy lets you skip the stage one. Okay. So if you have a Piplup on the bench, you can rare candy and evolve into Empoleon. Okay. And there's the muscle band, so... Okay. I think we're just going to concede the game. He's going to hit me for 100. Next turn he's going to hit me for 90. What happens if you don't have a Pokemon? You lose. Oh. So I actually did hit the Starling in my good phone. So... Oh boy. Can you put those on your bench? Nope. I have to pass the turn. So, 
if I put down another Pokemon, if I level ball for something, like a Buneary, and put it down, his attack command is actually strong enough to knock me out. If I don't, he has to two-shot me. Mm. So... Now I'm just hoping my opponent does something stupid and decks himself out. Otherwise, this is the game, because I prized too many Sneasel to do anything. And you can see he's still using Diving Draw. Hopefully he uses it three times and gives us a chance. And there's a second time. Oh my goodness, is my opponent going to give us a chance to deck him out and win? This would be hilarious. He's down to three cards. We'll use it one more time. If he does, we actually have a chance. I don't know what my opponent's doing. It's making me a little nervous. And there's attack command for 70. Not enough. He did not get the muscle band. And Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, my opponent did not deck himself out. So we're going to level ball for the heck of it. And see, we have absolutely nothing and I think we're just gonna pound because that's funny what uh, we're gonna attack with Buneary for the heck of it uh, professor sycamore might as well play out the rest of the game big jump back to our hand <laughs> big jump and hit this thing for 10 damage and that is gonna be game guys so that was really unfortunate. That was probably not the best display of how this deck works. You really want to be aggressive just taking huge one-hit knockouts, but unfortunately my opponent was just able to destroy me. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll have some more deck, prof deck profiles up for you soon. Hopefully we can get some better matches in than that, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.